What time is it? Y'all know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. Where is it at? Right there, right there. And it's time to find my Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G-E-E-K-O-I Amanda. Same on Twitter. And it's time to get this for you. Movie review started. Most of y'all might already be aware that I am not a big scary movie fan. I'm not. I don't like to be scared. I like psychological type thrillers, but I don't like to be people jumping out at me and making me jump in those jump scare things. I'm jumpy already. I got anxiety. I don't even tell my kids and my husband. I was like, you don't come up too like fast on me. You don't. You don't come up too fast. You don't come up sneaking in like a ninja or nothing. Be like, hey, and startle me because I will throw something. I might do karate chops. I will definitely scream. Wait. I went and saw it too. Now, let me start out by saying I have never read the book. I have not read the book. I know both of the movies, it one, it two. I think they were both based on the books. I've never read the book. I also have seen the first it movie, which I thought was scary. I didn't like it because it was scary. It was too much jumping and stuff. So what did I think about it? I thought it was dumb. I did. I thought it was dumb. Well, I thought a lot of it was dumb. Number one, it did not scare me. They did have some jumping out scenes now. They did have some jump. Well, I was like, ah, ah, some jumping out scenes like that. I was scared. But then when you actually see the things jumping out at you, it was silly. Like how am I get scared? Something jumping out, this head falls. Then it starts coming things out of it. And then becomes like a spider, but it's still a head. And it looks, it looked just ridiculous to me. I was like, this is supposed to scare me. Remember the naked lady? Y'all, How? if you have watched the trailer, you can't forget that lady. Which, the, the girl went in her house, so it was creepy. I was like, what's, what was creepy? What's going on? She was acting weird, right? Then in the trailer, you see the end result. She comes naked, running after her, running her attack. But then in the movie... She becomes this big old weird looking creature that's a naked lady. And it just looks silly to me. I thought the CGI was just too much. They had parts where they went back in time, showed the kids. They showed the kids, which these kids are grown now. It's not like they can reshoot this stuff. But they totally CGI'd them in. There were some parts they totally CGI'd these kids in. And I was like, that even looks CGI'd in. I, I'm going to tell you, I was disappointed with the CGI's in this. I was. Now, let me tell you what I did like. I liked the comedy in it. I liked the comedy. I thought it had a lot of funny parts. Even when these big creatures are supposed to be scaring you, I was laughing at them because I was like, this is so ridiculous. But on top of that, they had the guy, is his name Bill Hader, who also is in the HBO show Barry. He was cracking me up. The plot, some of the plot. I mean, that's neat because these kids went through some traumatic stuff. They had this big old clown come and attack them, some Pennywise. So, of course, they ain't going to grow up, right? They're going to grow up with something wrong with them. And it kind of shows that. It kind of shows these kids as adults and the things they're going through now after having experienced that and how it kind of messed them up as adults. Some of the stuff is just too graphic. Like at the beginning, they had this part this guy gets beaten up and they just keep punching him. They just keep on punching him and the blood everywhere. All right, I didn't like that, but I, it, it was realistic and they were kept punching him and he looked like he was just, they were gonna punch him till he died. Then they threw him up in the river, right? They threw him up in the river, then Pennywise gets him and then even more graphic, cause you know Pennywise and his teeth and all that kind of now, stuff. Now Pennywise, as a clown, when they show Pennywise the clown, when he got his crazy eyes looking this way and that, and he's just there with his teeth, and he's like trying to talk to kids and lure them in. I was creeped out then. I was scared then. I'm like, don't go. Oh, Pennywise. Like, I was scared. I would have bad dreams of Pennywise. That part was fine. That part was definitely good with the scariness. If they would have just had all the scenes with him and his weird clown stuff, that would have been good. That would have been scary. And then on top of it, it's three hours long. I mean, I'm getting all this ridiculousness and it's kind of dragging on for three hours long. A little too long for me. You could have cut some of that back. And this is realistic. We have short attention spans these days. I can't be sitting through this gory, ridiculous, Pennywise, scary movie for three hours. So I'm going to rate it. 
I'm giving this a two out of five. Not even because I'm biased and don't like scary movies. If this was a good scary movie and scared me, it would have got higher. The two because of the comedy and the good plot, some of the good plots in it, and and the guy from Barry. That's why I even got a two. That's what gave it a two. The rest. So if you saw it, let me see what you think. Comments, thumbs, and all that. Until next time.